as you can see, I no longer have my blazer. I know the channel is called C2s and K5s, so it's still C2s and I guess C10s now. So, anyways, this is my grandpa's 1970 C10 he bought uh, when he was a couple years old. He didn't buy it brand new. I guess a couple years, two or three years old. Had ever since. It was an Iowa farm truck, and as you can see, it's had a lot of work done to it, but it needs a lot of work here and there too. The frame's solid, everything works, it runs and drives. So uh, today I'm gonna to be putting three point seat belts in it. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot of work, a lot of things to this truck uh, over the next couple of years. So this is kind of a how to on how to do a few of the simple things here and there, but this is also kind of a, a video diary of all the things that I'm doing to it too. So I'm gonna show you some stuff as well. I got this kit. This is from LMC. It's the 382265, obviously BL for black. I really didn't want to stay with the green because I'm sure down the road I'll end up changing that out. This is this is one set, and that's the hardware kit that comes with it. I think you're supposed to reuse some of the anchors, but there is a spot up on the um, on the back pillar. There's a plug in there. I'll show you here in a little bit. That's got a threaded hole. They were smart enough from the factory to put that in there so if you needed to put a 30 point harness in there you can lmc i think this was like 85 a piece so about 160 170 for the for the pair but it's gonna be so much better and so much safer to have a three point harness in there so we're gonna get to that here next so we're gonna take the seat out so we can get to all this stuff back in here the seat does not fold forward uh, it does have four half inch bolts, four half inch bolts on each side. There's two back here, two on there. So we're just going to unbolt it. We're going to slide the thing forward so we can get better access to the other bolts in the back for the other anchors and then these here. And I've already sprayed them with some PB Blaster, let them soak because this thing's pretty rusty. I guess there's a 916th nut on the bottom. Maybe not. It feels like it's just like a welded in anchor in the bottom there but we'll see we'll get to that here in just a second so i'm gonna take these bolts off get the seat just move forward so we can get better access to this we've got the seat out we took out this 13 16 bolt that anchors down the old uh lap belt and that one's a, a, is tough if you're in the rust belt that's that's a tough one to get out so soak it with some pp blaster or some wd-40 something like that hit it with a map gas torch or something like that and uh, heat it up. I don't know what this white or this kind of tan like crusty stuff is. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna clean that up a little bit more. So up here is the plug that came from the factory and supposedly, well, there we go, I guess that'll work. It's supposed to have a threaded hole in there. I guess I'm gonna have to it's a screwdriver. Uh, it's got a different, it's got a hole in there that should be threaded, and then these are the bolts that come with it. So then your your bolt should go up in there. Everybody in the other videos made it look so easy, like that thing just pops out of there, but probably have to break the rest of that plastic out. And then the anchor that's down here, you're gonna keep your hardware. That's the one for the lap, for the um, the other end of the buckle. There's two right here in the middle. I've got my gas tank out, so obviously this is gonna be a little bit easier, but you definitely have to move the seat and get the seat out of there. So I'm gonna grab a screwdriver and I'm gonna try and bust that thing out the rest of the way. Let's double check this and make sure this looks like a fine thread. Should go in there. sure all three of these bolts are the same it looks like the the threaded parts like right up against this so i might have to hit, hit that with the dremel and get that to come out a little bit better it just feels like it's it's catching on this front part here so i'm gonna dremel that out a little bit and get that back in there and then seat belt looks like it should all go in here like normal we've got our Oh, it already has it. Good. It already has the bolts for the 
that shoulder strap that clip just snaps off so that's one less bolt we have to worry about so we'll get that let me get my dremel i'm gonna pause you here real quick i'm gonna hit that with the dremel a little bit and make sure you get the other one cleaned out while i'm here get that cut out or that dremel out a little bit better so i can feed the bolt in this one already comes with it again that plastic clip just pops off we're gonna screw this one in It's gonna get fed in just enough, and then this is gonna have to be. I have to look at this again in the directions, but I think it's got this little plat, this little orange clip to keep it from. I guess retracting, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I guess to keep it from retracting, so you don't have to it so much. So it's got the hardware kit comes with these. Three bolt nuts and bolts. It comes with these two big old washers, which can go there. I don't know if they're big enough for this thing. They're not. They're big enough for those. But they're not big enough for the factory hard. Well, I mean barely. I could probably dremel that out a little bit, but I'm pretty sure that. See, one of those probably gonna have to go. Well, that one really can't go on that anchor. One could probably go here. But I don't need one on the bottom because it's got big old square, like welded in anchor. It's threaded also. So uh, I'm gonna have to stop and look back at my directions here and see what we got going. Because this is gonna have to go on here. But I'm just guessing. There's some probably anchors onto here, like that. Maybe it anchors this way. So we can get these on there. So I'm gonna guess this is probably gonna have to go back through here. The factory bolt. And I guess I need to drum all those holes out. That doesn't seem right though. Because it's not gonna go up there. It could go here. There's too much of a, a curve on the floor for these to match up to the floor anchors. And again, these holes aren't big enough for the floor anchor bolts. They're just a little bit too small for those to go through. So I have to take a break and look back at my directions and figure out what's going on. What we're going to do, we're going to bolt this bracket back down because that's going to connect both of these pieces here. And this is just going to go back in that old spot. The washer is going to go down just to help distribute that load. And the hole is just a little bit too small, so I just took a Dremel and Dremel that out big enough to get that big bolt through. Because if you remember, that's that one that was here that was super difficult to get on. So we're going to try this now because I didn't want to work with the bracket facing that way like this. So I'm going to put this in sideways like this. I have a feeling this is kind of a universal kit for some reason, but this is what we're going to go with. So on the other side is going to be this bracket. Oh, that doesn't look right either. Why does that not look right? Let's go like this. Let's put that bolt through the back here. Because this looks, that looks a lot more correct. Honestly. So then let's see, we're gonna put another bolt there. Lock washer, another washer, and a lock washer. And another nut. Now the nuts are 11 16 and the bolts are 5 8 the bolt head, just like the one up top. So we're gonna Take that one and tighten that baby down a little bit.
helps go forward. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to put that one on there. Probably going to have to put a wrench there. That one's going to have to be like that. Because you're going to end up pulling the sprocket out like this for your seatbelt. And that's going to stay in line like that. So. That's what we're gonna go with for now. Now, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put this here, because this is gonna end up going like this. So I don't think I wanna go down with it like that. I think I'm going upwards. This is probably for the best. I'm not quite sure what that little thing is for, but and I, I, I can't put the big washer on there, because the big washer won't line up with that hole at all, so. I'm gonna put this one back on here. I don't even think these washers are even big enough to work. Nope. So, I'm gonna put that in there because I want this to feed through the hole in the couch. In the couch, I want this to feed through the hole in the bench seat there. Still got that little neck in there, so this thing can still pivot and move around a little bit. So we're gonna put that there, and I guess I'm not quite sure, but this is all apparently just extra hardware. So let me get my 5 8 wrench, and we're gonna put that in there. Tighten that one up. Tighten that baby up there. 15 sixteenths. We'll come back and we'll tighten that that bottom bolt up a little bit more. We're gonna tighten this one up. And works pretty good there. And then you get your little plastic clip that's just gonna snap on like that. And you're all set. And then we've got that one there. Just gonna have to fit it through the through the seat. And then you're just gonna repeat the process on the other side and that's it. And again, stick around, like, and subscribe because this is gonna be a video diary for this truck and I'm gonna be doing lots and lots and lots of projects to it and hopefully it helps some people out along the way. Uh, and if not, hopefully you enjoy it. But thanks for watching.